Hello, how you doing? Kari Toje here. So, look at this road behind me. I'm walking to a site that I want to introduce to you guys in Ikorodu at, um, what's the name of that town? Ikonke Ikbale, Ikbale town. That's where we are. And um, this is Lagos, um, Ijebu Road. This road you're seeing behind me. And uh, we're in the outskirts of Ikorodu. I believe and um, this is the same road where we have um, the Polytechnic and then the Caleb University so we're, we're going to walk to the site but I just wanted to show you those landmarks before I before I proceed inside then there's a Philly station there you see there so come with me let me take you inside I'm going to turn the camera now as we walk down to the site So this road you are looking at, they, are, they want to interlock it. You see, they are, they are trying to sand fill it and interlock it. I'm jealous of this area because they have a lot of red sand here, unlike the island. Well, we hardly get this type of solid sand. Um, we, we drove here, but we can't drive through this place. So we just parked and we're trying to walk down to the site. And I'm told that it's a minute or two walk to the site. So we have seven plots of land available for sale. So yes, the layout for you is a free old land, but you can be rest assured that the free old is solid because the owner already registered um, survey on it. So it has registered survey. And I'm bringing this to you because it's owned by close, someone very close to me. It's not within an estate, it's a private land. You can decide to buy the seven plots and use it for a mini estate if that's something you've you know you've had a mind to do or you can buy one plot two plots you can buy it as well and bank it and then wait for some years later because we have another landmark we have on this road this very road just 10 minutes from here is the new site that they are bringing the my 12 market to where the my 12 market is in in k2 it's causing traffic and all that so they are bringing it to um i saw the site i think when i'm going back i'm going to show you the site it's just 10 minutes away from this place i'm standing and i timed it so that's another attraction to it so we have a number of things coming up on this road and once the my 12 market which is already being built the new my 12 market is all set up then we're going to have that's going to draw even more even more um, development to this area a lot of things coming to this area that is going to cause appreciation so here is another landmark you see this Enville institute of management and technology here yeah, they own this land and they are bringing they're going to develop something very huge here and this land actually passed behind the you know it goes this way and then passes behind the land i'm taking you to so, so i wanted you to see that as well hello again so i'm here this is the land yeah the gate you're seeing behind me now but before that you see this road i'm going to turn the camera now and show you see that those building you are looking at that's from the express road where i was earlier you get it so i'm going to turn the camera around and show you there's a lot on this land already that you know that is of value to whoever is buying it so just turn the camera now and show you everything so you see like i was saying that building let me zoom in that's the express where i was earlier and um, notice that there was the reason we could not drive to where I am now is the the work they are doing at the front there. But a walk to this place is just where I am now. It's just like two, three minutes walk. Yeah, see it. So that's it. So this is the the land has already been fenced and gated, and um, the owner was very smart enough to have a security as there are people um, living here. Um, with the permission of the owner so as to keep the place from being isolated so this is the boundary and um, is a corner piece actually it has like two it's facing three roads it's facing three roads this is one of the roads it's facing then there's another road there and then there's another one behind it so it's facing a road here it's facing another road by the side it's facing another road at the back take a look at this layout again to understand better you know so i'm just going to take you in now and uh, 
show you what's there. So it has two gates. Everything you're seeing. So starts from the this is the first gate, and there's a second gate at the front. Then the owners built a security house already. That's the that's the second gate. But I'm going to walk to the side of the land. So when I'm walking there, I'll show you more of it. For now, let's just go inside the land. So the dry land, this place, and then the owner wanted to do an office here. So there's this big one here, but he gave up on it and changed his, his plans changed, so you see it said so these are stores the only built see the, the water tank this one is locked of course by the people now using the like, temporarily using the land so that it will be safe you know it will not just look isolated so that's why the owner this place i think he said they wanted to build like two rooms here for some reason we'll give up on it so there's a foundation here as well so you see it is all dry land there's no fat yeah Oh, dry land. Shit. So that's it. I'm just going to go to the side of the land and show you more of it. The concern we all have about a land aside an estate is that um, we love money and not take it away, you know, when you buy land that is outside an estate. But here, the owner already um, worked on that and um, people are living here. And he's been in charge of the land now for you know some years now and nothing he has good relationship with everyone and nothing has you know no issue ever has come up with the land so so that's the first gate i'm just going to the side of the land so you see it like i said this road they want to tar the road and the land is like um, about the same boundary sharing the same boundary with that Enville um, Institute that is coming up. Like I said, it has 120 plots of land that they want to develop. Buddha Institute on that alone is a big, is a big deal for this area. So you see the site, see the land. So, let me just walk you. So you see that some part is cleared. The person that he was given to, to use so that the place doesn't look isolated. I don't even think the person is not maximizing the plot. See that a lot of it is not cleared. So you see. walk to the boundary of this place the road behind it has not really been carved out yet but I can show you what it looks like and we talked about the disadvantage of buying um, outside an estate rights that 
you know I've clarified already that as you can see that one wouldn't be an issue here but what is the benefit of buying outside an estate is that you take possession of your land immediately you do whatever you want to do you you know you can start developing it pay today start developing it tomorrow that's the biggest benefit you know because we all have our plans for our land and then in you know in real estate companies real estate lands it takes like forever you know sometimes you already bought a land that you want to you feel like you have a certain plan for you want to start developing at a certain point in time but then this is someone else's land you know that one just gave rented it out to a farmer that you know doesn't for peanuts though but it's not really about the rent it's just that to show that you know the land she's renting the land to the person and the person is not the owner so see that's how that's some ideas of how you keep lands that you know lands that are outside an estate so that someone is in charge of it so the road is going to be somewhere here like i said it's not cut it out so it has a road at the back road by the side and a road at the front so that's it the boundary of the land so you see it so what are the attractions here we have um the road is just like three minutes walk from the um lagos ijebo Day road we have caleb university i actually timed this thing we have caleb university that is just 30 minutes away from this place where we are we have the new sites for my 12 markets that is just 10 minutes away from where we are and um yeah so itamaga itamaga that um, place where we have the korodil university at itamaga that one is just you know a few minutes drive as well no less than from that itamaga to this place is within an hour it's within an hour drive you know to this place so it's not it's not far from areas that are already very very developed and it's just if you ask me is a strategic land like i said as for title this place um is covered with um it's free old what free old means is that i've i've explained this in one of my videos before free old means that the land is not under any government acquisition and it is free although it doesn't have a type a proper title has not been processed for it yet which means a cfo has not been processed for it yet or a governor's consent has not been processed for it yet but it is a free land that's what free old means and to even further buttress that it is a safe land the owner has, has a registered a verified registered survey for the land you cannot do a survey for a land that has problem you cannot do a survey because a survey is a dog is a government issued document you cannot do a survey for a land that has any acquisition that is not free from government acquisition that, so that's another way you know that a land is actually free when they say this land is free from government to Ahala. so i think i've mentioned everything call me for more information anything i miss out here you can call me and then we'll, we'll talk about it so that's it 